ready for the dictation start i deem it a privilege to be invited to address this joint session of the us congress i thank you for the invitation i bring you the greetings and good wishes of the people of india india and the united states have much in common that is very important to both countries you are the world's oldest democracy we are its largest our shared commitment to democratic values and process has been a bond that has helped us transcend differences we admire the creativity and enterprise of the american people the excellence of your institutions of learning the open sense of the economy and your ready embrace of diversity these have attracted the brightest young minds from india creating a bridge of understanding that transcend both distance and differences between us in addition to the values we share as democracies there is also a convergence in our perceptions of a rapidly transforming global environment bringing us much closer together than at any time in the past globalization has made the world so interdependent that none of us can ignore what happens elsewhere peace and prosperity are more indivisible than ever before in human history as democracies we must work together to create a world in which democracies can flourish this is particularly important because we are today faced with new threats such as terrorism to which democracies are particularly vulnerable india democracy has been fashioned around india's civilizational ethos with celebrates diversity our society today is the result of centuries of assimilation of diverse peoples and ethnic groups all the major religions of the world are represented in india we have a tremendous diversity of languages customs and traditions the father of our nation mahatma gandhi called for universal adult franchise as early as 1931 long before india became independent our political leadership remained true to this commitment and the constitution we adopted after independence in shreen democracy based on free elections and the associated principles of tolerance of decent freedom for political activity protection of human rights and the rule of law our first time minister jawaharlal nehru addressing this very forum in 1949 acknowledged our debt to america on this score he said that you could hear in our constitution the echo of the great voices of the founding fathers of your republic the real test of a democracy how the constitution functions on the ground